Hi guys, this is Alia Bus, and today I'm reading Ricky Ricardo's Mighty Robot vs. the Stupid Single Oxford Set. And today I'm reading Chapter 11 and Chapter 12. Okay, it's Chapter 11, the Final Attack. Ricky had won his battle with the giant water Sigbox, but Surgeon Sigbox still had one more trick up his sleep. He pressed a button on his wrist and called his attack pod to invade. Suddenly, hundreds of attack pods start zooming towards Earth. Oh no, cried Ricky. They're everywhere. Uh oh, we're in trouble, mighty robot. No! Whoosh, whoosh. Kachak, kachunk, crash. I've got to get to higher ground. Uh, zap, gah. Ooh, cough, cough. Boom. Rip. Ching, ching, ching. Zzz. Kafush. Floop. Oh, I get it. It's the world's biggest fly swan. All right. All right, bug brains. Swoosh, boom! It's time for a smackdown. Whoosh, zong. Whoops! No! Whoosh, no! Hell! Suddenly, a giant hand emerged from a cloud and caught Ricky. It was Lucy. She had shoot up. The rest of the bag of gumballs when nobody was looking. I couldn't help it, said Lucy. I just love gumballs. Lucy reached into outer space and opened up a giant spaceship with, with it. She scooped all of all of the tiny attack pods. Then she shoved the two warrior sting bugs inside and slammed the lid closed. With one muddy throw, Lucy tossed the magnet mesh. Magnet spaceship all the way back to set. Well, Lucy, let's take care of that. Chapter 12. Just desserts. Fudgy and Waffles had found a bag of super shrinking salt water attack inside, inside Surgeon Stick Bug's attack pod. They gave the bag to Ricky's robots and he fed it to Ricky and Lucy. Soon, the two cousins had shrunk back to their normal size. To get the six friends flew Sergeant Sigbog to the squeaky village. Then they zoomed back to Lucy's house just in time for dessert. The grown-ups brought out chocolate chip cheesecake for everyone. We heard loud noises out there," said Auntie Ethel. "What have you have you kids been up to?" Ask Uncle Freddy. Well, a bad guy tried to steal my rubies, said Lucy. But Ricky's robot beat up the sting bugs. Then Fudgy found some gumballs, and I grew big and globbed the attack pods. And boy, said Ricky's mother, those kids sure have vivid imaginations. I know that Lucy gets on your nervousness sometimes, Ricky's dad whispered. But thank you for being nice to her anyway. No problem, said Ricky. That's what friends are for. If you want to read more, Ricky, go ahead and subscribe. But we're not done yet. And it's now for the office notes. Day Pokey has written and illustrated more than 50 books for children. Including uh, the paper boy, a collected honor book, Dog Breath, The Horrible Trouble with Halitosis, the winner of the Colonel Young Reader Medal, and the IRA Children's Choice Dumb Bunnies series. He is also the creator of the New York Times best selling Captain Unfriends books. Dave lives in the Pacific Northwest with his wife. Find him online at www.pilkey.com. Dan Santad is the writer and illustrator of the picture book, The Adventures of Beagle, the the imaginary friend. He is also the creator of graphic of the graphic novel Sidekicks, and has illustrated many acclaimed picture books, including the New York Times bestseller, Because I'm Your Dad by Ahmed Zab. 
and cuts him by some of the big running book. Dan also created the Disney animated hit The Replacements. He lived in Southern California with his family. Find him online at www.dantad.com. If you want if you want to watch my videos, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon.